Hey guys, how you doing? It's been a while, I know, I'm sorry. I, uh, I need to put out more stuff, but life gets in the way. Uh, lately with the weather, with the way things have been, it's just been kind of hectic. I haven't had a chance to do a lot of videos. I haven't had a chance to do any removals um, in a while. And uh, like I said, life just gets in the way. Uh, so I, I was thinking of what to put out. It's been a while and I realized that uh, a lot of people have trouble uh, lighting, packing lighting and, and keeping the smoker lit. So I was gonna show you a quick little video of what I do. I've had these things stay lit for a very, very, very long time, like all day, or at least until it runs out of fuel. So this is this is my smoker, and uh, I've had it for a couple of years now. As you can see, it's it's seen its fair share of weathering. What I normally pack it with is uh, pine shavings. Here, I'll show you. The magic of uh, editing, we're down the in the shed anyways what i use is pelletized bedding as a base because it holds a really good um, fire like coals and then i pack it with just regular uh, pine shavings these are from tractor supply uh it's just what's nearby uh, you can get them wherever this 40 pound bag cost me about i think seven or eight dollars probably about the same for this that bag i've had easily for two years and uh, you can see it's it's more than half wasted. Um, I usually use a couple of handfuls of that on the bottom of the smoker, and then I'll pack the rest with this. And it works like a charm. And uh, back to the smoker. Okay, so here's the smoker. It's packed. Very, very, very simple way of lighting the smoker and keeping it lit is by use of a propane torch. Now, I'm gonna have to put you guys up on a stand and uh, I'll show you how simple this is. And uh, the, uh, I think it's one step method to keep it lit. So I'll be right back. Okay, never mind the dog. Make sure you guys are in frame here, okay? This is a very complicated process. You take your torch. Turn the torch on, away from the dog. Use appropriate safety apparel. You take your smoker and put your blowtorch on the smoker and you give it some pulse. to give it a few puffs to make sure it gets good and going and that is basically all you have to do to light a smoker and keep it lit no fuss no muss this will stay lit at least I've had it stay lit for the entire day and I've gone back and put more pine shavings in there and continued on working with it. Sometimes the flame will die down on there and no smoke's gonna come out in a few puffs and it'll kick right back on. I'll just let it hit, sit here and we'll come back to it in a, in a couple minutes. And uh, let's see, what time is it now? Let it frame, there's the time. We'll come back. And okay, it's been a few minutes. I haven't touched it. There's nothing coming out of it. So we'll see. Oh, look at that. That's good smoke. And uh, like I said, it'll stay lit for a very, very long time. I have a, uh, a piece of cork that I've cut down. So if I need to stop it, I'll smother it. let it go now because it smells nice it smells like barbecue and you may be wondering if it does any damage to the smoker like I said I've had this one for a couple of years now actually I'm about to smoke myself out here um, and the only thing you can see is just there's a slight discoloration in the stainless this is the uh, the big one from Day Dance and Sons and uh, I don't notice anything other than the, the, the excuse me the discoloration there on the base of it from 
from the heating, and, uh, but it's held up. I have also have this cheapy one from uh, Tractor Supply. It has also undergone the same treatment for a long, long time, and uh, again, it's perfectly fine. It holds up. It stays lit. Well, I mean, it'll, it'll stay lit regardless, but it is super easy to light. It takes nothing, just a few seconds like you saw. A couple puffs, and then you have a smoker. That goes. Let me get it going really good. And then I'm gonna let it sit there for, uh, it's what, five minutes to four. We'll set a, let it sit there till uh, four or five and see what happens. 2,000 years later, six and a half hours later, a few inches later, day two, day three, day four, a few moments later, one eternity later, three days later, 12 seconds later, 328 AM, three weeks later, many months later, so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Go. that's 10 minutes I thought it would quit smoking but it didn't still lit and smoking so there you go very very simple all you need is a little blowtorch point it to the side of your smoker let it go red give it a few puffs till the smoke comes out good and good and white cloudy like this it's a nice cool smoke and uh your set this one since I was just making this video I just filled it up with pine shavings if you want to use the uh, pelletized stuff I would put a little bit of pine shavings down on top of the screen just to make sure it doesn't fall through and but like you see it works it works with burlap it works with pine cones it works with pine shavings it works with the grass it, pretty much anything you put in there you can light it through the wall and you don't have to worry about all the fancy tricks people like to do there you go hope it helps you out if it does please leave me a like uh, if you have an issue with it, if you don't like it, leave me a comment. And uh, if you have any ideas for, for something you want to see or something I can help you with, please let me know. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Oh, yeah. Safety first, right? Make sure you do this. To smother this sucker and put it somewhere where it's not going to get in any trouble. And uh, let it cool off. Let the flyer go out, let it cool off before you bring it inside or you put it somewhere. Especially near anything flammable or meltable. Okay, cool. Have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your week.